Well met Valheimers, today I would like to show you how to build a boat swing. It is a bit of a funny and silly thing to do, but hey, whatever floats your boat, right? Before we actually start the swing itself, we will have to build a scaffolding so we can build high enough. Yes, you can use the flying mode, but not everyone has access to the dev commands. So let's begin with building the scaffolding, which should be at least 6 meters in height. Okay, this should be high enough and we can reach both sides of the build. So let us start with the actual swing. The distance between these two poles is actually the same width we will need for the swing. So let us extend these out with one short pole and a long one here. And then we can place one 4 meter pole here and one here. And we add two more on top. Now on the side of this we will snap an inverted 26 degree wooden wall. Same on the opposite side. Let us extend the scaffolding a little. Then we place two more on the front here and here. And then we have to go down and place two more on the back side. Let's climb the scaffolding again and finish the top part with some 45 degree wooden walls. Ok, the top side is almost finished, we just need to add a few more details here. So let us extend the scaffolding a little so we can go a bit higher. Select the wooden shutters and place them on the edge there, making sure they are rotated like this, two steps to the left and the other one two steps to the right. And we can do the same on the other side. This will help keep the boat in position. Ok, now this is done, we can go down and already break down some of the scaffolding. To give this wing a little bit more strength, let us support these sides as well. Let us now remove the scaffolding completely, as we don't need it anymore. On the side here I will build a quick little platform, that way it will be easier to enter the swing. For this frame we will be using the carve, but if you want you can make one with a long ship as well, but for that you will need to build a larger frame. So select the carve and try to line the mast up with the center beams here, the one right here. You can see the boat is red, so simply press shift and that should enable free placement. Once the boat is aligned with the center, just shift and place and the carve will fall into place. The yard and sail will fit nicely in the framework and that is what holding up the boat. Now we can just step on our platform and climb the ladder. The carve is now hanging in position, but we still need to find a way to get it to swing. There are a few different ways you can do it, but I prefer the one I will be showing you next, as it has the nicest effect on the actual swinging. We begin with selecting our wood door and we snap it against the beam here. You notice that the door can be snapped in different positions against the beam. I've been using this for minor adjustments in my other builds, but that is a topic for another video. In this situation we want the door to be snapped here. Against the door we snap a wooden pole and then we connect a short wooden beam on the corner here. Now we can snap another wooden pole here, which will be at the right position for our next step. Now this is not connected, so before we delete the door and beams, let us snap a short beam in here. And now we can delete all this. Next we can snap a short pole here. We also need the same on the other side, so let's place a temporary beam here and then connect another short beam below it. And then just to make sure it's supported, we connect another short beam in here. This beam can now be deleted. On these two beams, we can now snap the wooden gate. So rotate if needed and make sure they are snapped like this. If you did it right, the door should be overlapping the mast of the ship right here. We can also place another door on the side here because the boat can shift slightly sideways while swinging it. So both doors should be closed and blocking the mast. 
Next, we will have to open the doors to activate the swing. Be sure that both doors are open for this to work, otherwise the swing will be blocked. But we need both doors installed just in case the ship shifts left to right while swinging. I also need to warn you that the boat and the frame will be damaged over time, so you will need to fix them after use. Now, we just need to open up our doors and see which one is pushing the boat in the swing. So the right one does not really do anything, so let's try the left one again. Alright, here we go, our very own boat swing. You can make it go faster by opening the doors at the right time, but if you are going too wild, you might push the boat out of the framework and you will have to break it down and rebuild it again. But this is how you build a boat swing. Another application you could use the free placement with shift for is to build your ship in a dry dock, but that's for something else. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Before you go, don't forget to press that thumbs up and definitely try this one out, it is a fun project. And that's gonna be it for today fellow Vikings, thank you so much for watching, this was Beelbum, goodbye for now.